Skyline V37. This is a 370 GT, I believe. Um, Infinity calls them the um, uh, what's it called the G37 or something. 3.7 liter VQ37 HR, I believe. It's a nice car. I like this. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it being so new. Wow. It is an automatic and I'm using um, the drive mode. Um, oh wow. Oh, bit of a lag there. Nice sound. Ah, nice fun car this is. Let's take it for a test drive. I'm um, not sure how long I can be going. Ooh, really nice cornering. So it's a 90 degree turn. Uh, I've got my hands at the um, what's that? Nine to three positions. So directly opposite each other. My thumbs are in the uh, little thumb grooves. Ooh, we got an S bend here. Let's do it. So there's this Camaro here that's turning. <sighs> I don't know. So right now my options are an M35 stager for 3500 or dropping $8,000 and buying this thing. Granted this has done 165,000 Ks, it's a 2007 I believe. <sighs> it's such a difficult decision, I know. There's um, ample room in the back, it's not a fair lady Z, uh, 370Z I think you guys call it. So um, it doesn't have the straight through boot. I believe the rear seats actually do fall down, so it might be just as practical. And uh, I'm actually lost right now, I don't know where I am, somewhere in West Auckland. It's an ugly car, I hate the look of them, but they're, they're great value, they're so nice to drive. This one's got really direct steering, the stage here, the steering was similar, but it wasn't, it wasn't direct, like this car is. Man. Why do I have to make a decision like this? <laughs> I just wish that this would be um, here. I don't actually know where I'm going. But I wish that it was more like a, a six speed manual. You can get them in manual, but they're just rare and more expensive. So yesterday I actually had a look at one and sat in it. It had full leather seats, and I believe I did a video. And, um, well, the only thing I don't like, I believe they upgraded a lot from the uh, G35. Mostly just um, stuff you wouldn't notice, like suspension and the power delivery, the steering wheel, the interior. Uh, this is nice. There's a train behind me. The only thing that I thought was weird is um, clicking noise from the indicators. So, um, it just sounds really um, like a toy. <sighs> the steering wheel looks great, feels great. In the G35, the, um, the steering wheel is very square and chunky. It is nice once you actually hold it, but it is just square and chunky. Multifunction steering wheel. This one's got the aluminium brushed look interior. Semi leather seats, so it's um, fishnet cloth with um, with leather outers. Electric seats all around. The steering adjustment isn't leather. I mean, isn't electric, but. The um, dash cluster moves with the steering wheel. So um, an issue I found with the R34 
is that um, when I got the steering wheel to a comfortable position, the top of the steering wheel was actually blocking the top of the speedo. So, so a throwback to the R31. This has um, illumination for the controls for the um, dash. Down there you got your foot handbrake. And it looks like we're moving again, so I have to put the camera back. It is a nice car, even though it is automatic. Slush box. It's got heaps of power. I believe it was like 200 and... What was it? 236 kilowatts or something around that number. The um, G35 was 206 kilowatts. The Stager I'm actually really considering buying is 208 kilowatts. But these have um, over 400 newton meters of torque. I believe it was like 420 or maybe even 440 newton meters. While the Stager, which I was looking at, is the most powerful Stager and it um, has 40, what was that, 403, 408 kilowatt, I mean newton meters of torque. It's a very difficult decision to make whether I spend half as much and get a practical stage here or spend this much for this car and you know, get a fun sporty package such a difficult decision so um, I believe that cars hit the bottom of their depreciation curve 15 to 20 years later this isn't 15 years old so it still has a few numbers maybe even a digit to drop off its value in the next five or so years well that's the end of this test drive